In today's video, we have a couple more small updates regarding the 2024 LEGO Star Wars leaks, and these will pretty much tell us a little bit more as to what to expect with these sets. Let's get into it. So welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars video, and today we have a very quick video. I just want to really quickly keep you guys in the loop, so without further ado, let's get into it. This involves some piece counts for some 2024 LEGO Star Wars sets that we did not have a couple days ago. So as of now, we already know the January 1st piece counts. Uh, one quick little rehash on that, the Clone vs. Droid Battle Pack, uh, $30, 215 pieces, uh, you know, presumably going to be just one smaller build. Uh, we have the Skeleton Cruise Ship, 140 for 1325 pieces. Then we also have that, uh, that 4 Plus Jedi Adventure set, the Firehawk, it's a 4 Plus set, of course, so the price per piece is going to be very wonky, uh, $50 for 136 pieces. But for the rest of the LEGO Star Wars sets, you know, the spring, uh, you know, March and May sets, we had no piece counts. And now we have piece counts for most of them. So uh, let's get into it. And like I said, this will give us a little bit, uh, you know, kind of just more as to what to expect and uh, you know, some price per piece stuff on there if you guys really care about that. So uh, starting off, we have the 18 plus Millennium Falcon uh, MIDI skill set, $80. This is actually going to be 921 pieces. So uh, not too bad of a price per piece. Of course, the mini skill stuff uh, does not come with mini figures unless they change that for 2024 so it's always nice to uh, get a again if you care about it you know nice price for piece you know it definitely looks better when buying it on the shelf in my opinion uh next up for the 75376 the 18 plus uh tantive 4 mini scale uh this one now very ironic you know we come in here for an 80 dollars price tag and it's presumably only gonna be 654 pieces which, you know, really kind of just, you know, goes the other way on that uh, looking good on the shelf, you know, price per piece. The only thing I can really think of that might be uh, skewing this price per piece, of course, unless they randomly throw us a minifigure in there, would be on those uh, those engines on the back. There's, what, 4, 8, 11 of them. Uh, so if they have to use some sort of, you know, bigger new mold piece uh, to kind of fit that scale for all 11 of them, uh, that might kind of bump it up a little bit uh, due to the plastic they use. Next up, we have 7 by 3, 7, 8, the Grogu's Escape Sally. We have no piece count for this one yet. It is coming out May 1st, but I think at this point we pretty much know what to expect. Uh, going to be probably a Bark Speeder, the uh, the sidecar, uh, Baby Yoda, you know, Grogu with his pram, uh, Kylo and Beck, and then presumably at least one or two clone troopers, uh, whether they're uh, plain phase two or shock troopers. Uh, that's pretty much what we, uh, you know, can expect. So probably somewhere in that uh, probably middle 200 range, but that's just a prediction. Uh, next up, we have the 75390 buildable R2D2, $100. This is going to be 1,050 pieces be a 10 plus set come out March 1st, 2024. So this kind of further solidifies the fact that this really does truly seem like it is just a downscaled version, you know, a 10 plus version of a buildable R2-D2, which is just kind of very weird in my opinion. I'm still, I got like a 1% hope on it that I do think that might have a little something kind of quirky to it. Uh, you know, once we kind of get farther towards uh, March, I think we'll kind of realize there might be a little something going on with that set. I can't confirm it, but I've heard some stuff. And uh, again, uh, just the fact of having just a solo buildable R2-D2 uh, with no sort of, you know, crazy techniques or no, no sort of uh, uniqueness to it just doesn't make much sense to me. But again, it is Lego we're talking about, but that is the piece count. Uh, next up, 75380, the Bunta Eve Pod Race Diorama. 18 plus $70, 718 pieces. Uh, that will be a micro scale build like the trench run, so no minifigures in there. And uh, you know, that price per piece, it look, at least it looks nice on the box. You know, that golden standard of uh, 10 cents per piece, you know, always looks nice when buying a set if you do care about that type of stuff. Uh, next up, 75381, the Droidica 18 plus, uh, $70. No piece count yet on that. Uh, May 1st, 2024. Moving on to the last set for this video and kind of the main topic and kind of the thing I want to discuss down below with you guys we have 75387 the boarding the tantive for $50 502 pieces and this is the biggest thing I didn't even really realize that it kind of spoils it or hints at it you know in this actual list that the you know Falcon fan put out but uh from what I heard earlier also this won't actually be an 18 plus diorama set like we kind of suspected like when you hear diorama you know in that term you pretty much think of you know, a, a black box R18 plus set. This will actually be a little bit larger of a scale uh, of a version of like a, the, the, you know, the Dark Trooper attack, you know, kind of more of a play set, uh, not 18 plus, not black box art, 
But at that point then, you know, 502 pieces, $50. When I originally thought this was going to be a diorama, it kind of scared me a little bit since I had a feeling they were really kind of, you know, maybe cheap out on the minifigures, but, you know, maybe give us like one Vader. And then at that point, either give us like two Rebel Fleet Troopers or two stormtroopers and like kind of really kind of make one side kind of lopsided i feel um either have you know more rebel fleet troopers than uh empire you know many figures or vice versa but at this point if they really are going kind of play sets uh you know scale and not having to worry about 18 plus or making making it feel premium or if they really do have like a black box art tax on sets you know an extra 10 bucks or whatever uh 50 for 502 pieces this, you know, if it is a play scale set, kind of makes me think a little bit more. Maybe they will give us, you know, a Vader and at least, you know, I'm thinking two Stormtroopers, uh, two Rebel Fleet Troopers, you know, so you can actually have a decent little scene going on, uh, if not even more. I mean, this could be another one of those where, I mean, they're throwing us 10 minifigures in a, a $30 set, you know, granted, sure, some of those are uh, battle droids, um, but, you know, if they're throwing us maybe even five or six or seven minifigures in a, a little $50 uh, boarding the Tantive 4 set, but uh, nonetheless, that's kind of the biggest little you know uh you know little nugget of news i guess today is the fact that that uh presumably will not be an 18 plus you know diorama set uh more so a play set so th does that mean a good thing does that mean we're going to get more minifigures um you know, will the set be a little bit more dumbed down uh definitely leave your thoughts down below that is everything for today leave your thoughts down below see you guys on the next one bye guys and stay safe